Yeah, man. All right, I'm here with Martin Collier, who just won many categories <laughs> at the Hammerhead Painting Competition, including Best of Show. Yeah, with I'm your... pretty happy about it. Yeah, it's so, some really good stuff. Really, yeah, it was a really good show. But for what, like, the size of it and everything, and I think it's really well organised, and um, the, the people who have put the effort into enter is, you know, fair play. It's not, it's not every day that you get to enter the show, especially during COVID, so... yeah. It's nice to start getting the community put back together. For sure. And I mean, we noticed a lot of, there were quite a lot of entries and some really yeah. high quality ones. Oh, now, yeah. Do you think that might be because people have been saving up their painting? For, for my instance, yeah. I, I very rarely turn up to a show and do this well. It's because I've had COVID time <laughs> where I've had the chance to like build a collection of painted models and have a go at actually like entering some competitions. I've been waiting ages yeah yeah but no it's, i've really enjoyed it i'm obviously a delighted best in show and a couple of other categories so i'm well chuffed um but yeah no i'm really happy i mean you've you've just won quite a lot of stuff but do you actually paint for competitions or do you paint no. for yourself and then the competitions yeah, no, no. are a little extra thing on yeah top? so like the say for example the dragon the elder dragon from Dragonhead miniatures for me i saw it i really wanted to paint it and jamie was like yeah, it's not out yet. And I was like, oh, I'll paint it. I'll paint it for you. Um, I did it like, you know, there was no cut cost or anything. It was just I did it for him because he's a mate. And I was like, I want to paint it. And mm -hmm. um, I fell in love with the model the second I saw it. I had a great idea. So I painted it. And I enjoyed it. But there is a guy out there, Ben Comets, who I'm part of his Patreon. And it's mega. Like, there's some of my stuff from last year to this year. There's a huge change. It's just the pop with the, the dragon from afar it pops it catches your eye then you go closer in and there's three handed feathers on there and then there's little birds in the trees yeah there's there, there's an element every time you look the deep I always think a good model is like a good book every time you get you, the, the more deeper you get into it the better it gets for sure yeah and to get to that next level and this is something Ben really taught me and pushed me on was it's just those finer details where yeah. from afar you might not even see them like tiny feathers tiny things like there's feathers on the staff and stuff it's like you won't notice it but then you spot it and you're like huh. well I mean having judged them up <laughs> close I got the chance to actually yeah. finally see those details yeah, yeah. that you maybe don't get to notice in a cabinet yeah, no. um, as you say the birds I hadn't even realised I'm looking at pictures yeah. I'd never you, noticed yeah them. exactly it's, you have to for, for me as a point of view you have to put in things for the judges Yeah. because although yeah I don't paint for competitions. It's a model is for a spectator, and every time they want to look at it, a great model has something. Every time you look at it, there's something new you can find. Yeah. And you know, like with the troll, uh, there's loads of elements on that. So like, he's a completely different take of a model I wanted to do. Um, he wanted to be like, like grimy and dirty, and like it's not that clean. Like technically there's not really any blending in it it's all textured yes um and using different tips so people always think contrast is light and dark but it's not contrast you can have light and dark uh contrast of shiny or matte contrast of materials contrast of lights it's, yeah there's, there's color temperature yeah, as well right exactly so. like getting getting the temp like yeah there's so many levels and the more contrast levels you tick off the more interesting the model becomes. Yeah. So yeah, I would. I don't paint for competitions, but it's nice to do well. It's in nice them. to do well <laughs> in them. Yeah. Yeah. So your troll is actually ultimately what won you best, best in show. show. Yeah. And it's like your yeah. most recent piece. That is. Well. Yeah. It's li I literally finished that Monday to this week. Um, I'm ha I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's it's a bit of a conversion. I'm a bit gutted because I bought the bust and the legs, and then the, I finished it, and then the guy who made it released it with legs oh that's that's <laughs> cruel <laughs> so but it's my take so it's still it's it's a one-off it's nothing yeah. else like that i like that um for me it's my favorite piece it's it's got the most pop it's got the texture it's got the contrast yeah. levels to try get red to work with green is quite difficult yeah um they should never be seen no <laughs> um but it's one of those for me where Colour harmonisation is really important. So, like, I only use, like, three or four colours, but it's mixing them together to tone it through. So, like, the red's got yellow in, but so's the green. So that's why they sort of tie in together. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
like the straps they're white but yellow there's a really like on the on the waist bit of it there's yeah. a really bold white bit on yeah, there yeah 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 like you're not scared to go from very light no. to very dark in a small space no because that's what creates that super pop contrast where it's like yeah it's really dark there so what am I going to do put a huge amount of light in there and it actually works in certain incidences it won't work all the time but I think about really wanting to push yourself you've got to be brave sure if you don't go if you just stay in your safe zone going oh I'm really good at painting brown or black that's what I'm going to do you'll never progress yeah and I've never painted green I've never painted reds like that so I thought I'd give it a go and then it changes who you are as a painter you have to keep and yeah you're going to mess up you're going to make mistakes but you will inevitably learn from your mistakes yeah it's just being prepared to push and there's a huge community out there who are prepared to help you like I say again Ben Comets helped me a guy called Conrad helped me Fett um, huge without Fett I would say I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today he pushed me to do what I do yeah but and he always drags me out to go to the show. <laughs> well, we had a video with him at Saloon. Oh, really? Uh, oh, yeah, cool. last time. Yeah, so. yeah, he's um, he's a huge inspiration. Like for me, he um, he pushes me to be who I am today, and he's 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 a really helpful person in the community. Yes. So it's yeah, and like I say, me and him together, we're doing a model show. Yeah, tell together. us a bit about that. So the FMS, the uh, Fen Model Show. Um, me and Fett were sort of like, unfortunately, we lost Euro. Which was yeah. um, Euro Militaire, which was a bit tragic, um, because a lot of the shows are first past the post, and I think it's a good format of a show, but it's too competitive in my nature. But I can, I know people, and I do well, and Fett does well at these shows. But for the people who are coming in at an entry level, who want to get into um, competition painting or try enter a competition, and they get fourth, or oh, it was really good, but this is what you can improve on but if, if that guy hadn't entered you would have done really well it is hard it elim yeah. our show's eliminating that it's an open format so if your piece is worth a bronze you will get a bronze yeah. if your piece is worth a gold you will get a gold the only one that will be one off is best in show there will be one best in show sure. but we've got a huge backing from sponsors we've got like loads of guys like Journey Miniatures uh, We've got Sphere Products, uh, you know, Robot Rocket Miniatures. It's on our Facebook page. Um, but we just wanted to do an open format where we're giving back to the community. It's completely free. There's no costs. We're taking a full hit of the costs this year just to, for the, you know, for the community, just so there's more shows in the UK. Sure. It's, it, yeah, we just want to give back. So it's, we've got demonstrations and stuff. So it, I think it's going to be a good good show awesome you did well in a lot of quite contested categories yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, would, what would you say is like maybe not your tip to win competitions with painting but your tips to become a better painter and then maybe progress to the next level are there particular things that people should try and focus on yeah um, don't there's obviously trends out there don't follow trends okay um, be paint things that inspire you to paint if you have a connection to a model it will give you the best results so like my troll or like Ares when I saw Ares for the first time when it came out I loved that model I yeah. literally fell in love with it and I was like I remember going to the World Expo and I was like oh, I have to buy this model right now and I bought it and I got it home and straight away I was like painting it building it and I wanted to paint it because I had that connection to it yeah I think if you've got a connection to a model you will do better don't go ah oh, I need to paint a squad because I haven't got a squad for Golden Demon or I haven't sure, got a squad sure. for this comp Warhammer, you know, Hammerhead competition don't go out and paint the, a specific thing for a specific category because then you're putting pressure on yourself and when you put that unnecessary pressure it's where you start to fall apart yeah yeah you might be good at pressure but you have no emotional connection and no passion for that piece. yeah for sure so that's one thing I would concentrate on patreons always helpful be prepared to take advice everyone has an eye uh, they don't have to be as good as you they, they could be a lot worse than you or they could be a lot better than you it doesn't matter an opinion is an opinion sure and take on board what people criticism feedback listen to what the community tells you you know me personally I've got a great community around me I've got a lot of people who from an old forum of platoon botanica where it helped yeah and you know going back and now it's, it's Facebook you know heavy metal page all that it helps you become a better painter. 
by and having the confidence to actually believe in your own work. That is so like my friend Joey, this was his first show and getting him to believe in himself has been one of the hardest things to right. because once you start believing in your own work and going, Yeah, I think I've done all right, I'm really happy with that, you start it snowballs, you start sure. you start getting better and better and better. If you see somebody who you know is a good painter, I did this all the time about five, ten years ago. But if I saw somebody like who was like, Oh that's you know, Ben Collins or oh that's Kirill, I'd go talk to him. Yeah. Like go have a conversation with them and they will they're not like if somebody saw me and they wanted to talk to me, come talk to me, I'll help if you've got a question about your model, mess me on Facebook. I'll I'm quite happily help somebody out. Sure. It's not it's we're all there to help each other and improve the hobby itself. It's a, for me, it's not a competition. For me, it's a community. Yeah. If you go to a show expecting prizes, all you can expect is disappointment. Sure. Because and I have seen it happen with paint. Really good paint. Angry. Yeah, like, yeah. I've seen it at shows where like I went to salute with some of this stuff, and some of it didn't even get placed, and I'm like. Yeah. But then people come up and go, "Oh my god, I can't believe it!" And I'm like, "Yeah, it happens." Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. It, What's, uh, what's, what's next for you, shows-wise, and also what's your next project? Do you have any idea of what's...? I am doing a bust for Journey Miniatures. It's like an old lady bust that I've prepared. Okay. Um, she was pretty cool. Um, is, that, is that a chance to do something different, to try yeah, some new techniques? it's completely different. Um, doing a lot of, like, texture, freehand. I don't really do a lot of freehand, so that was kind of why I wanted to take it on. It's huge. Right. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit messed up, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, the next show would technically be ours, FMS. Of course, yeah. The Fen Model Show. Um, then after that, we were going to go to, there's a show in Littleport as well, held by the IBM, I, IBMS or whatever it is. Um, in, and that's literally my hometown, so we're going to go to that. And then after that, it's the World Expo right. in Eindhoven. So that's pretty big. That'll be a big show for us. Yeah. All my, like me and my friends, like me and Fett, Joey. So that gonna be that'll be one I'm not gonna lie. World Expo comes around every four years, I'm gonna be nervous. Like Oh bless you. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's one where I wanna do well, but the level's crazy and yeah. it's the biggest stage in the world. So if I do well there I'll be like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be doing backflips. I'll be I'll be, <laughs> I'll be wearing my trophy around my neck. Um, Anything else you feel is important that we talk about? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I suppose it's just what keeps you inspired. Um, for me, what keeps me inspired is just um, watching out what's online, people who I talk to. Shows are a huge inspiration of yeah. where you meet people, talk to people, see what's coming out. So that's been hard, not going to shows and not seeing the inspiration. Because a model in hand is completely different oh, to yeah. online. I am famous for that. My photos are rubbish. Um, <laughs> but seeing other stuff in the hand is, and it also could go the other way, where the photos are amazing and you see it in the hand is yeah. rubbish. Yeah. Um, for me, I really enjoyed, um, I really enjoy looking at other people's stuff. It inspires me. Um, going to shows inspires me. But yeah, no, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for chatting no, to us. Thanks for judging, and thank you for having the show. And it's been real. And thank you for yeah, interviews. Yeah. No worries. It's been a pleasure. No, I really enjoyed it. Great. Yeah, cool. <laughs> this video has been brought to you by WI Prime War Games Illustrated Magazine's online members club. View more videos or find out more about WI Prime by following these links.